Hi, I'm Donald Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Hearth and Hollow Folk Voices, a collaboration with Spitfire Audio and Hunter Rogerson. They've recorded 11 different articulations and four different singers in St. John's Angelical Church, trying to capture that authentic, intimate folk sound. The library includes four vocal styles, an interactive UI for sculpting and arranging, CC control for vowel blending, there's a doubling control, there's 11 different articulations and eight mixes, an ensemble NKI and solo NKIs for each of the singers. It does run in the free contact player and downloads through Spitfire Audio's app, normally selling for $99. Now we're going to listen to a whole bunch of different presets, playback, play with the instrument, the interface, and all the presets. But before we dive in, I want to just play a little demo I mocked up while I was trying to get a feel for the library, playing with a number of different articulations and almost all the NKIs. So first, let's just listen to that Voices Ensemble patch by itself. And you can get a lot out of this patch because it can morph from ums to ahs to os. And then you also have intensity for vibrato and, of course, CC for expression volume. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's pretty nice blending between these different vocalizations. And I like how they give you these pre-curated mixes, which kind of not only place the singers across the room, but in depth in the space itself. Thank you. 
Now there's also preset controls for this ensemble so you can force them to all sing the same articulations at the same time. The groove and bloom articulations really add another depth to this. And I really love the delicacy and the beauty in this whole sample set. to go further into any of the other instruments you can actually select the articulations for each singer separately and the ui is so intuitive you have you have a single uh Oh, then you know you've got a solo singer on the stage that you can move around. But when you click the O, oh, it turns into a two O's, which means that you're going to be mirroring and doubling your singer on this other side of the stage, no matter where you place them. The solo willow instruments is one of my very favorite. And unfortunately, this is the only vocal that does have a legato sample set.
I do really like the Juniper voice as well. I just really wish I could add a legato for that one. And there's a really great sound in both the Hawthorne and the Forest vocal solo instruments. library does also come with a whistler which does have legato body percussion with stomps, claps, and shouts. And you can really take advantage of the interactive stage to create some great sounds placement with this one. I'm loving this library. I love to see that 
there's more development than just pure epic scoring stuff going on in the world. And when Spitfire is teaming up with these different artists, it's really opening a whole nother universe for us writing for songs at underscore and in a way being able to kind of collaborate with another producer or artist. Now, I've shared a lot of my thoughts along the way, but I'd love to hear yours. Please comment below. Let me know what you think about Hearth and Hollow Folk Voices. Have you picked it up? Are you picking it up? And do you already have the original Hearth and Hollow Folk Ensemble? Be sure to subscribe and head back around to the channel on Fridays for the weekly DL Compressor Show.